And take strike one. You said leading the country in RBIs. Out to right, Petri comes in and makes the play. Ground ball to short, Thompson. And unable to make the play at first is Jones. That ball was in the dirt. A big part now of his offense. Steen strikes out Casas, one down. Oh, there's a blast off the bat of Petri. Goodbye. The Gamecocks strike first, a two-run shot from Ethan Petri. And South Carolina takes a 2-0 lead. Fourteenth home run of the season for the freshman Petri. And that's in the no doubter. I mean, that is the and, and here's the thing, first home run given up by Skeens this year. So just those little things and this LSU team, they're a great team and they're gonna see it through throughout it. Just being able to reach base on that era. The 2 2. Second strikeout for Skeens. Five year player for LSU. Didn't play in the midweek against Nichols. Line to right, that's a base hit for Beloso. Petri falls down, so Beloso will end up at second. The one, two. Got him, first strikeout for Sanders. Line to left, that's a base hit. Beloso rounds third. He will score. It's an RBI single for Thompson. And the Tigers are on the board. They trail 2-1. to one. Sanders strikes out Neal. Second strikeout for Will Sanders, and that'll do it for LSU in the top of the second. Just checks all the boxes of what a dominant pitcher should be. He strikes out Lee Croy. One down, third strikeout for Skeens. Taking Skeens to three and two. Called strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Skeens. He has four. Well, Skeens strikes out the side. 3-2 from Sanders. Called strike three. He gets Morgan looking. Third strikeout for Will Sanders. Here's the 2-2. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Will Sanders. He gets Morgan. He gets Cruz. He has four so far. Find a way. How can we just get back on base? Is it a... Is it an error? Is it a hit by pitch? And Wimmer comes into the series fifth in the nation and run score. There's a blast off the bat of Wimmer. Morgan looks up, and this one is long gone. A solo shot for Wimmer. His ninth home run of the season. And South Carolina takes a three to one lead. Shot on a no doubter on 99 mile an hour fastball, a little bit in, and he was ready for it and got his barrel to it. You're going to see more and more guys wanting that opportunity. Skeen strikes out Casas. You know, as you do a scout report now. Skeen strikes out the side. Ah! Hits White. Second Tiger hit by Will Sanders. Fans, your attention, please. Game is suspended due to unsafe weather conditions. We do have lightning out of the area. Lightning. Lightning warning. This will be interesting. Both pitchers at that 50. Weather tonight helps you do that. This could be two. And the scoop from Casas. The Gamecocks turn two. So we can talk all we want about their bullpen, and it is important to keep South Carolina at bay. But because you've got the lead, you got the best part of your lineup up. Grounded through the left side for a base hit. Stone will stop at second. Two on and nobody out here for South Carolina in the bottom of the fifth. Long ball after long ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, a deep drive to left. Morgan looks up and it is gone. A grand slam for Ethan Petri. Tack on four more for South Carolina. They take a 7-1 lead. Second home run of the game for Petri. 15th home run of the season. He Unbelievable. Might, he might have just won it already to come out and just do that. But just 
two two count two two strikes didn't overswing it's hard to say when you hit a ball that far but man what what an incredible season up to this point he is having as talented a hitter as we've seen here in Founders Park in a long time Steve yeah it's it seems like everyone he hits is a no doubter yeah and it's just he's an everyday catcher with energy and that's a I guess that strike on the corner right there. And when you can have a Brewer and Stone and those kind of guys running around. Brewer launches that deep into the Columbia night sky. It's gone. A home run for Brewer. South Carolina takes an eight to one lead. We talk about momentum. You come out of that break, it's clearly just the Gamecock bullpen gave them time to catch their breath, and they have just gotten right on to this LSU bullpen. He knew it right away. Fourth home run of the season for Dylan Brewer. Fourth home run of the game for South Carolina. To beat Coach Johnson, finding out what his team's memory is also in this series. And that starts to add to your confidence. Works a walk here. Green light moment here. Instead, it's ball four. So the bases are loaded once again for South Carolina. It's incredible, that feeling. I didn't get to do it very often. That's driven out to left center. Cruz will make the play. Tagging is Braswell. He will score to sack fly for Ethan Petrie. The Gamecocks get another run. They take a 9-1 lead. He's only a sophomore, but he just has that feeling to him. Called strike three, so Helmers gets out of the jam here in the bottom of the sixth, but the Gamecocks get one more on the sack fly from Ethan Petrie. And he's 0 for 2 so far tonight. That's line to center, and it will drop in front of Stone for a base hit. A leadoff single here in the top of the seventh for Jones. That's driven deep to left. Brewer looks up, and it's gone. A two-run home run for Jordan Thompson. His third of the season. Tack on two more runs for LSU. They now trail nine to three. Like I said, again, they don't think in any way they're done and they shouldn't, but this can at least create some energy for you as you go into tomorrow. That one got him on the foot. He goes, pitches in the dirt. Ball four, so the Gamecocks have first and second, but nobody out here in the bottom of the seventh. It's ball four. Sometimes during these games, and you do, and you're on the other side. It's ball four. Brewer will come home to score, give Braswell an RBI, and South Carolina takes a 10 to three lead. Let's make him swing it for us. He strikes out Stone, one down. And slam would end it here. Instead, it's ball four. Lee Cry will come home to score. Give Braylon Wimmer an RBI. South Carolina takes an 11 3 lead. Elmer strikes out Casas. Series finale against UMass Lowell. Been on a tear ever since. He's hit. That'll score a run. Denny comes home to score. Give Petri an RBI. Kind of odd how that is, but again, they know their they know their pitching staff. Deep fly ball to center. Cruz is there, and he makes the play for the final out of the inning. The Gamecocks get three at the top of the list for the Golden Spikes Award this season. Chopped to the left side in the hall. Wimmer falling down. Does it get there in time? No. It's a deep drive to right. Petri. Back to the track, to the wall, and it's gone. A two-run shot for Beloso. Had two more runs for LSU. They trail 12 to five. Fourth home run of the season for Beloso. And first left-handed hitter to really have success on that one. The left side on the backhand, Thompson, the long throw. Not in time, too much speed for Brewer. Or less. 
the other way, giving chase is Pearson, and he won't get there. Bounces into the corner. Brewer will stop at third. It's a double for LeCroy, and the Gamecocks are in business here in the bottom of the eighth. Staying back, trying to get out. High pop-up. That'll be the first baseman on Braswell. Ground to the left side, Thompson will get the out at third. Brewer comes in to score, added on another run for the Gamecocks. They lead 13 of five. This pitching staff to, to pitch for contact. Fly ball left field. And Pearson makes the play for the final out of the inning. The Gamecocks get one more. Sweat strikes out Malazzo. Do it again in just under 13 hours. We're playing two tomorrow, starting at 12. Hopefully play two, depending on the weather. South Carolina defeats LSU 13-5. Big win for the Gamecocks right there.